Day two of the Thomas Stidham trial wrapped up just about an hour ago. Today we heard from people who saw Stidham just days before the deadly hit and run crash that killed a tri-state runner. Nine on your sides, Brianna Harper joins us live with what exactly their testimony revealed. Brianna. Kristen, today four different witnesses were called to the stand to testify and in that line of questioning, the prosecution wanted to make it clear that Thomas Stidham was in fact driving the car at the time of the crash. First to the stand, someone who knows the defendant Thomas Sidham quite well, the mother of his two children. Catherine Barwick says she yeah, saw Sidham okay. December 5th, just a day before the crash on Dorchester Avenue, where Kathy Chatfield was hit and killed. When you went to work on that day, um, who was driving the car when you stayed at work? Thomas. Okay. And by Thomas, you mean the defendant? Yes. Uh, Barwick testified saying she didn't even know her car was involved in the crash until she saw it on the news. Just two days before, surveillance video and pictures also show Sidham at Alfred Motors car dealership. That's where he went to make a payment December 4th on the Chrysler 300 that would eventually be involved in the crash days later. Jurors also heard video testimony from a forensic scientist who explained how the DNA evidence from a sun kiss bottle and a bloody sheet of paper found at the crash scene matched that of Stidham. I would conclude that he is the source of the DNA profile obtained from those two items with the exception of him having an identical twin. But the defense tried to poke holes in that testimony, pointing out that some of the DNA evidence from the scene was not a definite match. And the prosecution tells us tomorrow here in court, beginning at 10 a.m., we can expect to hear from a Cincinnati police officer along with someone from the Hamilton County Coroner's Office, both who will take the stand to testify. For now, we're live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse. Brianna Harper, 9 on your side.